Hi, and welcome to Earth and Space Sciences. My name is Crystal Dubois, and I'll be your teacher for this course. This is my favorite science course to teach. It's got a lot of interesting content. We'll have two units on astronomy. One of those is about the science of the universe, and the other is the science of our solar system. So you'll learn all about the Big Bang Theory and the evidence for the Big Bang Theory, as well as how our solar system formed um, in that those units. Then the rest of the course has three units on earth sciences. The first one will be all about rocks and minerals. The second one is about earth's geologic history. So how earth has changed over the course of its history, including mass extinctions uh, and the age of the dinosaurs. And then the last unit is all about geologic processes like volcanoes and earthquakes and plate tectonics. Um, so this is a really interesting course and I'm excited that you're signed up for it. I decided to record this little video to kind of give you an overview of the course as well as to introduce myself. I always feel a little awkward in these classes and um, well, want you to know that I'm not just a person on your who's making marking your assignments, but actually a real teacher. Um, so I've been teaching at St. Mark High School for about 10 years now. Um, I started my career though as an actual geologist just I worked in research for quite a while and then at some chance I had the opportunity to teach an undergraduate geology course and I thought oh man I really love teaching and that's how I found myself where I am right now. So I've been at St. Mark about 10 years now and this will be the third time I've taught this course online. So bear with me, there's still going to be technological issues. You can always email me at any point if you have any of those come up. Um, and on an extracurricular note, uh, <laughs> I'm also really into rock climbing, which my husband and I spent a lot of our summer traveling. Um, and while we're traveling, we do a ton of rock climbing. And rock climbing pairs really well with a love of geology. The photo on the left is me climbing on some really cool dolomite just north of Banff National Park. And the photo on the right is us climbing in Kananaskis country just west of Calgary and you can see the really cool glacially carved valley in the background where the spray lakes are um, and we also do a fair bit of bouldering which is when you're climbing on shorter rocks and here I'm climbing down near Chattanooga Tennessee on some really interesting weathered sandstone that's down there so geology pairs really well um, with a love of rock climbing. Um, and actually my whole family does a fair bit of climbing. So this summer we got to go out and visit my family in Southern Alberta, spent some time climbing with them. You can see my parents and my sister-in-law and my brother in the background. And then my two adorable nephews, Leaf and Ivan. Uh, Leaf's the gap tooth kid on the right, uh, who has a massive love of Lego and weirdly for learning French despite living in Southern Alberta. And then Ivan, um, has, he's seven and he's just really recently found a love of collecting rocks. He got a rock tumbler for Christmas and of course I'm very excited about helping him learn all about rocks. And then on the other side of the family we have one adorable ne or niece. Her name is Avery. Um, she loves canoeing and saying the word no and doing everything by herself because she's two years old. Um, we do a lot of camping with her so I'm looking forward to spending some time with her this fall. And then the other thing that all my students seem to know is that my husband and I have a YouTube channel. Um, it's called JK Brickworks. We're up to 2.4 million subscribers these days. Um, and we make a lot of um, custom Lego models with kind of working parts. You may have stumbled upon some of them, um, like this working ski hill that, uh, well, my husband made a couple years ago, um, where the little Lego guys go up and down um, there's a ski lift and then they can ski back down. Anyways, um, so if you've stumbled upon any of our videos, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, but I always introduce a little bit of our Lego models into this course, so I figured I'd let you know about that as well. And one of the first assignments I'll give you is to actually tell me a little about, your, about yourself and why you're interested in this course and your goals for this course. But before we get to that, I want to give you an introduction to how the course is laid out and how things are going to work. So your homepage in D2L will look kind of something like this, though this is a course I had to use last semester. So on the course homepage, you'll have an introductory note um, and every week, um, on Monday morning, I will post your work for that week on this course homepage. Then once you've read what the work is for the week, you'll go to the content tab. 
and my internet's a bit slow, but as we let this load, you'll see in the content, content tab on the left-hand side, eventually, there will be a list of all the units. Um, so here we've got um, an introduction to Earth and Space Sciences, and when you click on that, it's got all the lessons laid out for you. Um, I really would stress that when you are doing the work for the week, you really do need to read through the lesson and watch any videos that are there. So you'll read through the lesson, watch the videos that are there before you go into the tab that says my work. This is where you're going to find things like assignments and quizzes. When you click on the quizzes for this week, you'll find a quiz that says get to know you quiz. And that's one of the things you'll be asked to complete this week. Um, so that's how our course is going to be laid out. And I will try and use the gradebook tool, though I haven't used it before, so bear with me. I guarantee there will be some problematic issues with it, but we'll try and use that so you, I can uh, let you know what your marks are as soon as I finished marking assignments, etc. And speaking of marking assignments, to let you know how you're going to be assessed, um, in this course, of course, 70% of your work is, or of your mark comes from your term work. This includes assignments, so there's a, about 15% of your mark will come from larger assignments, about 10% of your mark comes from some very small assignments, about, uh, well, 8% each for each of the um, unit tests in the course, and then often there'll be quizzes in this class. These are more like homework. You can use them to help you get ready for big unit tests and the final exam, and to make sure you understand the content. Um, I will take a look at them, um, and if your quiz mark brings up your grade, then I'll include them for about 5% of your final grade. If it doesn't, then no big deal. Um, they're really your chance to practice. Uh, your test will be worth more if you don't do the quizzes. Um, then on the note of academic integrity, the work you submit needs to be your own. If I suspect any plagiarism or AI use, um, I'll ask to meet with you and you won't be graded until we've had a conversation about where your work came from, et cetera. Um, and on that note, don't be nervous. Just make sure that all your work is proper, properly referenced. That includes um, in-text references as well as a list of references at the end. And I'll get into that in detail later as well. And then lastly, be sure to reach out if you have any questions or run into any tech issues. You'll have received an email me from me or you'll be receiving an email from me pretty soon. So you can always email me back and I'll try and respond quickly. Okay, thanks and make sure you try the first quiz. Have a great day.